on. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, the young retiree. And Jean, her husband. Hey, and Jean, and we are on our way home from Tough Mudder. We did not shower there. We changed at our trunk. But we both have orange headbands. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. We Thank both have orange headbands. We both survived. I'm wheezing. I don't know why. Probably because I just did 12 miles. 12 miles? I thought it was 10. No. It was definitely at least 11. Jeez. We're in stop and go traffic. Oh, that's Celine Dion. I'll turn the radio off. Uh, so, we started in the 730 wave, and, uh, we went slow and steady, and we finished, we finished, took our pictures, got our t-shirts, and had our bag from bag check at 245. So, my goal was eight hours. We obviously skipped some, uh, obstacles. At like mile six or seven, there was this surprise obstacle called the Death March. And I swear to you, I'm not even kidding. It was like probably a like 85 degree angle. I'm not even kidding. Well, I guess a 95 degree angle. Like straight freaking up. In like, like sandy? I don't even know. Yes. It wasn't like solid ground. And I thought, I just thought, take me home. But we were more than halfway through. And so I bet you it took us 45 minutes to do it. Mm-hmm. Because I had to stop. My legs, my calves started cramping. Um... But, like, so did, like, ridiculously fit people. They were kind of stopping intermittently. And, I mean, it was just killer on everybody's uh, leg. Everybody was just cramping. Um, and I figured, really, from that point on, what kept me going. I had already done the Arctic Enema. And the thing that kept me going was I did not do the Arctic Enema for nothing. So, uh, oh, and by that time we did Walking on Water or the Jesus Walk or something. And it was um, this mud pit that you walked across. And it was maybe like an inch of water. But, like, if you just stepped, there were these holes. And my right leg fell in one. You did awesome. I don't think you fell at all. Yeah, because I was watching the people in front of me. Watching, I was going where they were not... Wait, and then Gene was leading me, and uh, he was going in front of me, and then I didn't even know how I fell in. Yeah, because he went rogue. I, yeah, he went rogue. And I fell, my right leg, up to my hip, fell in to this hole, and my left leg remained on ground level. So that kind of threw my hip flexor for uh, quite the, quite the, uh, whoo. So, uh, we did Arctic Enema. That's where you jump, basically you jump into, like, a Connex box. Um, or, like, a, like, a long dumpster. Mm -hmm. Lined, obviously, with plastic, with, like, tarp. And, uh, they just continuously fill it with ice. And when you get to the middle, you have to go under some plywood and come back out and then crawl back out. And there was ice in my sports bra. There was ice... Uh, between our camelbacks and our backs it was not pleasant but I would do I for real I would do an hour of arctic enemas back to back over that death march that was I mean that was whew. but uh, that's where the camaraderie really came out I think people you know that's where like people mm -hmm. really started you know like oh good job you're doing good good job yeah because I think by the end everybody was like everybody part of my language everybody was like fuck this mm -hmm. you guys it was I don't understand the people who do like 20 tough mutters Dragon one wasn't I'll brag till the cows come home one oh. was enough for me hold it up oh, there you go 
One was enough for me. So we started off, we were at Vail Lake in California, and we just kind of went around and around and around. Uh, I lost my tutu in the first, the first mud pit. Um, it just got weighted down too much, so I like peeled right out of it when I got out of the, under the barbed wire. And uh, then we did the electric eel. And Gene didn't get zapped at all, you said, right? Yeah, I thought I was, I, but I was covered with mud. Oh, man, yeah. that got me in my shoulder, and it got me in my elbow. And I guess I didn't get the memo. The same one got me in the elbow, like, easily five times. It just kept, like, hit, you know, or the not the same wire, but the same elbow just kept getting hit. And, uh... It burned like it when I got through my elbow burned like if you had sunburn. Uh, then there was a lot of uphill and downhill. Uh, we did the jump, walked the plank. We did some walls. I'm like, so before we even started, I was in tears, crying. In order for you to get to the starting area, you have to go Can over I, these walls. Can I uh, pull so it faces you? What do you mean? My back is killing me. Hold it up here, then. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, that's much better. So there's all these army people, and they're all like, you know, oh, you can do it. Who are? And I'm like, no, I can't. And so this one great girl, this army girl, she was like, oh, if you go around to the... There was like a little wall, a high wall, a little wall, and the one little wall was solid, and the one high wall had a rope and then the other little wall had little pegs you could crawl up so I crawled up it and then you have to jump down like 10 feet and so I'm like next to last only because Jean was the last person across the wall so they're like waiting for me to start Tough Mud except now you can't see me I hold sun. it up here I hold it here oh. nope because the sun I'll put it back no, here, if I go like this, does that help? Nope. You're washed out. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can hear me. So, uh, I'm on top of this wall, and then all of a sudden, how many people would you say? Like, 300 yeah. in our wave. They all start, like, clapping and cheering for me. It was so embarrassing. It was all for you. It was all for me. And so, uh, you, no. It's all white. It's literally all white. No. Want me to pause it? No, I don't know how to pause it. You, you either play it or you stop it. Put it back here? Nope, here. I'll record while I'm driving because that's super safe. Yeah, it is. Gene Osborne. I said our name. I don't know how to bleep it out. Ow, I got a fur from my toe. Do you want me to stop and start over? All right, so am I in a lane? Yes, you're in the lane. Okay. Why don't you just put it right there? Well, because you don't want to hold it because your back it. hurt. I did Tough Mudder for you, and you can't hold an iPad for me? It's still washed out. Yeah, I wonder what's going on with that. Oh, well, the point of the story is we survived Tough Mudder. We got the shit shocked out of us at the very end. Uh, I'll put a link to my blog post on the bottom of this uh, where I talk all about it on the blog. So uh, make sure you watch the youngretiree.com for uh, more updates. Thanks for watching this horrible video if you're still with us. Sorry that it's horrendous. All I can see is my sunglasses and my headband. The sun. Yeah, we're driving directly into the sun. So thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, friends.